gentlemen, the very funny Jeff Greenberg. You know, it's sad that she died, but you know, 96 years old, you know. But I tell you something, I begged her to cut down on the salt, you know? <laughs> and they're schlepping her all over the place. What's going on? Scotland, Balmoral, she's back to England, all over all these different services. I'm going to tell you, tomorrow night she's going to be at a Ben's Deli coming <laughs> bringing her over, you know? That's it. Okay, let's see what's going on. Yeah. We still got all kinds of diseases going on, like COVID, the uh, monkeypox, polio. I'm gonna hand for polio. Yeah. 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 The artists are rolling over his grave right now. Polio's still around. Oh my. Oh my. You know. You know, you know a friend of mine came up to me about a month ago and said, Jeff, give me a sign. When do you think this is all gonna be over? When do you think we're gonna be completely back to normal? I say, when you see Dr. Fauci on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> that social distancing, we had to do that social distancing, right? Remember, uh, you know, the height of the pandemic, we had to be six feet apart, social distancing. You know, somebody came up to me and said, Jeff, what's a good measuring tool to know you're six feet apart? I said, just use your receipt from the CVS <laughs> and you'll be okay. <laughs> Oh my God! And the uh, and the monkey pox for guys. I, I I just want to let everybody know, you know, with monkey pox, you do not need to see a specialist. You just go to your primate physician. Yeah, hey, -o. Okay. hey, -o. hey, -o. hey -o. And no, uh, don't go to Home Depot to get the gorilla glue. Yeah, hey, 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 hey! Let everybody know right now. Oh my God! <laughs> All these diseases, everything's coming. You know, it's just uh, you know. I, I hey. Yeah, there are people getting scurvy on the circle line going around that. Give <laughs> that man a piece of fruit, for God's sake. <laughs> scurvy. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I'll let you know um, a little bit about me. I just want to let you know. I, I just turned 64 last, yeah. last week. Yeah, that's it, you know. Yeah, and uh, you know, I just want to let you know my life. I, I've never been wanted. I've never been loved. Nobody ever wanted me. You know, my mother, she tried to do a Jewish abortion. She tried to return me to Bloomingdale's. Back? I don't have a receipt. Don't take anything back, you know? Oh, my God, it's horrible. You know, I want to tell you, you know, speaking of that whole Roe v. Wade, everything going on. You know, in 1973, when I was 15 years old, my mother was actually down in Washington, D.C., during those Roe v. Wade pro-abortion marches, and she was holding up my baby pictures. <laughs> oh my! You know, I, you know, I, I, I don't think my mom, you know, my mom and dad, or uh, knock on wood, they're still, uh, still with me, still with us. You know, and my mom's 85, my dad's 88. Have a hand for mom and dad. Yeah. Doing okay. I went to go visit mom in assisted living uh, a few weeks ago. She still reminds me that she's still suffering from postpartum depression. Right? <laughs> That's right. <fine. laughs> you know, she tells me that, you know, Jeff, I would have sent you to Camp Lejeune, you know? I told you to take up water polo, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, so, yeah, I grew up, um, I grew up in New Jersey, Wayne, New Jersey. Anybody from New Jersey at all, you know? Yeah. That's it, uh, you know, yeah. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, when I was a kid, you know, as a kid, I, I have to tell you this, when I was young, I, I, I was, I was uh, bullied in class. Oh. And I was homeschooled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, you know, in fact, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, this act, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, is my 45th high school reunion. After 45 years. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, when we sit down to eat, they're going to have a whole long table just for me. like Just like it was in high school. You know, it was a click of one, you know. You know, there's going to be women, just for old time's sake, they're going to be coming up to me and says, Oh, Jeff, I'm not going to the prom with you. Just in case you are. You know. No, I did. Actually, um... You know, I did not go to my prom, uh, you know, in high school. I, I, I bust tables at Nathan's in the Livingston Mall, you know. I was busting tables. 
I had my green uniform, uh, you know, hat on, I, a bucket and a mop. And my, you know, my father's taking prom pictures, me with a mop, you know. Like, unless you got a thin blonde there going. Oh, the yeah. um, yeah, yeah, dad never wanted me at all. You know, I remember when I was a kid, dad would say, uh, hey, Jeff, go play ball in the street. Go play ball. Uh, we lived on 280, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, like, you know, on there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm at the age now, folks, you know, things are starting to break down on me, you know. I went to my doctor for my physical a few weeks ago, and uh, he gave me a gown and a toe tank. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, I went to my cardiologist. I said, Doc, what do my arteries look like? He said, like the Lincoln Tunnel during rush hour. You know? <laughs> I went to my, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm having some plumbing issues, you know, I'm having you know, a lot of some prostate, you know. So I, I went to my urologist, and I'm sitting in the waiting room, and the nurse says, uh, "Mr. Greenberg, the doctor will see you now." And as I'm walking to the waiting room, you hear through the speakers, mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> "Oh my God!" I don't want to say I have an enlarged prostate, you know, but they get a scan of it. It has Goodyear on it. <laughs> oh my God. You know, it takes me so long to pee. The nurse gave me a cup. She was watching Ben Hur on her phone. <laughs> doing this. Horrible, horrible on there. Oh, uh, let's see what else is happening. You know, I, yeah. Next month is my um, my 51st anniversary of my bar mitzvah. Yeah. It's been October 2nd, 1971. I was bar mitzvah. You know, in my bar mitzvah, my mother said to me, Jeff, please. Whatever you do, you know, uh, think of the family. Don't embarrass us when you get up there. Do not embarrass the thing. I said, Dema, do not worry about a thing. So I get up there and I go, Hey, what a crowd, what a crowd. Uh, hey, Rabbi, you wear a hat like that. You want to give me a free bowl of soup, you know? What do you mean the half Torah? I'll do the whole thing, you know? Uncle Seymour, you brought a family of five. The check better be more than 35 bucks, okay? Oh my god. Yeah, that's you know, I um uh, I I happen to hand for all the crime in New York, but yeah. oh my god. You know, I tell you, I you know it, when I, I take the subway, I come from New Jersey, but I take the train here, you know. And I tell you, listen, I stand on the tracks, you know, to avoid being pushed, you know? Any surprises, I'll just hoist myself up, you know? Oh, man. The other day I was on the Q-Train, I was on the Q-Train, Second Avenue uh, subway, you know, the new one they built, you know, a few years ago. It has some really uh, high tech on the signage. So I was looking up at the sign, it said, Q-Train, seven minutes, R-Train, four minutes, Homeless guy with a hammer, 26 seconds. <laughs> My God, it's horrible with the crime, you know. I think, you know, you know the, um, how about that woman? It was like, uh, I think it was like three months ago. She was caught shoplifting 100 times. No bail, no jail. 100 times shoplifting. That's terrible, right? But the good news is this weekend she's having a garage sale. You know? so, yeah. Too much clutter, you know, you gotta clean some of this stuff out there, you know, gotta clean out there. You know, uh, did I get to see the light there, Paul? I got bad eyes, so how much time do I have left there? Right? About a minute? Yeah, right. but, uh, and how about, oh my God, did you hear about that woman with the machete last week? She attacked it, this woman, she attacked an 80-year-old guy with a machete. 82-year-old guy with a machete. Thank God he's okay, you know? And, uh, you know, I was in complete shock when I read that story. Because I'm thinking, like, wouldn't a simple steak knife do the trick? <laughs> you know, what the heck? Why should you have to use that machete? Oh, my God. Now she's going to be doing infomercials with an English accent. You know, selling knives like the Ginsu, you know? Okay. You know, but, uh, what can I say? Anyway. So, uh, actually, you know, the other day, actually, you know, because we have a horrible bail situation, you know, no bail, no jail. So, but the other day, I saw Alvin Bragg, you know, across the street. I uh, waved him. I said, Alvin Bragg. He says, well, today I let out three murderers, <laughs> two armed robbers, and a rapist, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh, but I'll finish up this because I, you know, really, you know, uh, you know, uh, my favorite Rodney joke. My favorite Rodney joke. It's not even a joke, based upon everything that's going on in New York. You know, 
I pray I moved into a tough neighborhood, a tough neighborhood. I ask a cop, how long I walk to the subway? Says, I don't know, nobody's ever made it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you folks have been great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.